welcome so uh, in this video on vedic math series we are going to talk about working base multiplication uh, what is working base multiplication uh, first of all uh, if you look at this problem suppose i ask you that uh, multiply 497 by 493 then the question is how much time does it take you uh, second point that you notice here that uh, these two numbers uh, are not very close to the base if i take 100 as the base it is like 397 more than the 100 and 393 more than 100 and it is not even closer to the base 1000 so uh, near the base multiplication will possibly not work here and uh, if you try it it will work but the time that uh, uh, it will take will be similar to the uh, regular multiplication so we can avoid that uh, so we will learn the new technique of multiplying two numbers when they are not necessarily closer to the base uh, but before i uh, move forward let us quickly recall what we learned in the last video so that we are on the same line so uh, in the last video we learned about how to uh, multiply two numbers which are closer to the base like if i take uh, 9992 and multiply it by 9995 how will i get the answer the answer can be written very quickly this is minus 5 less than the base that is 10000 and this is minus 8 less than the base that is 10000 so I will subtract minus 5 from this so the left the answer will be in two parts the left hand side part 9992 minus 5 and the right hand side will be 8 into uh, minus 8 into minus 5 that is 40 but how much is the base here the base here is uh, 10,000 how many zeros this base has 1 2 3 4 so the right hand side should have four digits so the answer will be 0 0 40 so what is the final answer the final answer is nine nine eight seven zero zero four zero so this is a real quick way of multiplying two numbers another example i take suppose i take 1012 and i multiply it by 1014 what will be the answer add 12 to the this uh, 1014 it will become 1026 and then multiply 12 and 14 because 12 is the surplus here 14 is the surplus here base is uh, 1000 so the pr product will be uh, 168 like here if i write 14 into 12 that is 168 it should have three digits because there are three zeros here 168 already has three digits so the answer will be 1026168 you might be thinking why i am uh, doing it very quickly because i already have discussed about the detail of this process in the previous video so in case if you have not seen that or watched that video please go and watch it so that you can understand the working base multiplication better uh, let me also take one more example because the first example both the numbers were below the base in this example both the numbers were above the base like suppose i take a situation like 992 into 1005 right in this case what we note that one number is minus 8 less than the base and I hope you can clearly see that base here is 1000 another number is plus 5 more than the base so what is the left hand side I can add plus 5 to this or subtract minus 8 from 1005 so 992 plus 5 that is the left hand side and what will be the right hand side minus 8 into plus 5 so that will be like uh, 997 that is my left hand side and the right hand side actually will be 40 minus 40 to be precise but the minus 40 term has only two digit right so because the base has three digits uh, base has three zeros sorry the base has three zeros so the right hand side should have three digits so i can write it 0 40 and you also know that when i get a negative number we write a bar over there right and to get rid of this negative term i take one from this side into the right hand side so this becomes 996 and then i take the complement because if i am taking one from this side to this side basically i am taking you know 1000 basically i am taking 1000 so the process is that subtract one from this and take the complement of this so if i take the complement of this uh, 960 
you might be thinking what is the term complement so if you have not seen what is complement watch the video number one in this series basically to calculate the complement i have subtracted this number from nine this number from 10 and the last zero was copied so basically i have done 1000 minus 0 040 right or 40. this process can also be used to multiply the decimal terms so decimal multiplication can also be done using this process right so what is the decimal multiplication suppose i write 97.9 .9 and suppose i have to multiply it by 1005 right so basically i will uh, consider here that uh, the decimal is not present and in the end i will put the decimal at the appropriate place so in the beginning consider it is 979 and you are multiplying it by 1005 this is 5 more than 1000 this is minus 11 less than uh, one uh, sorry minus 21 less than uh, 1000 because the base here is uh, 1000 so what will be the answer the answer will have two parts left hand side so i can uh, add 5 to this so 979 plus 5 will have 984 and what will be the right hand side the right hand side here will be minus 21 into 5 that is minus 105 and now we were clear that in case of vedic maths we put a bar over 105 uh, right hand side should have how many digits it should have uh, three digits because the number of zeros in the base are three so what will be the answer the answer will be 984 and right hand side is 105 bar as you already have seen in the previous problem that we have to get rid of this uh, you know negative term so i reduce this term by one so it becomes 983 and then I take the complement of 105 uh, basically I subtract it from 1000 because I am moving the 4 uh, uh, from this 4 I am taking 1 carry so I am basically this 4 is occurring at 1000 place so if I take 1 carry in the right hand side it will become how much it will become uh, 895 so that is the product but ultimately we wanted to calculate 79.9 into 1005 so i have to put the decimal at the right place 98389 and the decimal should come uh, after this and the answer is this 0.5 right so uh, this is what we uh, already have learned in the detail i took a lot of time here on this video but i hope uh, it was important for you to get the context right so that you can understand if you have not watched the previous video i again request you that go and watch that so that you understand the near to base multiplication very easily now uh, let us move to working base multiplication and here I will be speaking slowly. I thought in the first part I was slightly fast. Uh, reason you already know. So what is working base multiplication? To understand this, let us take one example. Suppose multiply 48 and 42. Take this uh, small example so that uh, you understand it and then we can take bigger examples as well. Now, uh, one thing you might already have realized that both these numbers are not close to any base. Like if you take 10 as the base, it is like 38 more than 10. If you take 100 as the base, it is like uh, 52 less than 100. So, uh, in this situation, what we do, we consider something called working base. So, one thing you realize here that if I take 50, this number is closer to 50 this number is also closer to 50 so uh, suppose the working base here is 50 this is what we call the working base and how do I, I identify the working base uh, that number uh, which can be considered to be closure or which is basically closure to both these number some of you might be thinking uh, 40 can also be taken as working base the answer is yes I will also take that you know aspect of it uh, for the time being let us consider 50 as the working base so i write 48 and i write 42 and here i write the difference that is minus 2 uh, from 50 and this is minus 8 from 50 uh, but when i take 50 as the working base i have to also set that what is my actual base so the actual base can be taken both 
10 uh, or 100 so uh, and i will explain it that what will be the difference in both the cases so the answer will remain same the process will be changed slightly so suppose i take actual base as 10 right now uh, one thing that i have to identify in the beginning itself that what is the proportion what is the proportion between the working base and actual base the proportion is that the working base is uh, 50 the actual base is 10 so the working base is basically five times the actual base so how do you calculate the left hand side here also like the uh, near to base multiplication we have seen that uh, there are uh, two parts so one is the left hand side part and other one is the right hand side part so how do I multiply I uh, subtract this minus 8 from 48 or minus 2 from 42 so I can and then I also need to multiply it by the proportion so 5 into uh, 48 minus 8 that will give me 200 uh, this could also have been done like uh, uh, 5 into uh, 42 minus 2 both of them are going to give me the same answer you don't have to think like that but because I am uh, explaining so I should be clear about all the aspects of it now how do you get the right hand side to get the right hand side you multiply these two number that is minus 2 and minus 8 so you get the answer as 16 now the answer should be written as the left hand side that is 200 the right hand side as 16 but again uh, go back to the previous concept that I highlighted in the previous video that uh, if I am taking the actual base as 10 how many zeros this actual base has it has just one zero so the right hand side should also have just uh, should have just one digit so what is the process here that this one you take in the left hand side so if you take this one in the left hand side this will become 201 and in the right hand side I will be left with just one single digit that is 6 so the correct answer will be 2016 okay I hope this is making sense to you uh, I will take uh, one more uh, aspect of it like when I took the number 48 and 42 I could also have taken working base as 40 working base as 40 and actual base actual base as 10 right so in that case what will the be the proportion so the proportion in that case will be actually 40 by 10 that is equal to 4 so the process remains same now this 48 is plus 8 more than uh, 40 and this is plus 2 more than 40 so what will be your left hand side now since the proportion here is 4 so you multiply 4 and then you do the same thing the diagonal thing that uh, either you add 8 to 42 or you uh, you know add 2 to 48 so 48 plus 2 so in both the cases it is 15 to 4 that is equal to 200 now how do you get the right hand side the right hand side is 8 into 2 so that is equal to 16 so what will be your answer your answer will be 200 and right hand side is 16 again the same thing that the right hand side should have just one zeros the reason being that the actual base that I have taken has just one zero so this one will be taken over in the left hand side and this will become 201 and right hand side will be left with just one digit that is 6 right so 2016 that will be your answer in this video uh, I could not take uh, more examples uh, so to illustrate the working base multiplication in more detail by taking more examples and by also taking different kind of uh, working base what will be the difference in the answer what will be the difference in the process all those things will be discussed in the next video so make sure that you are watching the videos in the very sequential order if you just randomly come and watch here and there you will not get the understanding uh, and uh, you will miss the links between different concepts so please watch the next videos that uh, will be uploaded like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the video thank you